So we're in a Pajak on our way to Saruma. To Angelica Beach. We've not been there for well over a year, maybe yeah. more, nearly yeah, two tell years. Us, tell us that, that we went there, we don't have kids yet. Yeah, we didn't have kids, so it's it's over two years since we've been to Angelica. And we're going today. Sadly, we couldn't go yesterday because there was a blessing at the church because the, the church is finished. <coughs> uh, because it was Mel's uh, dad's birthday party, which you, you've probably seen already, <coughs> depending on when I post them. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're in a Pajak and we're going to the Jeepney Terminal and it's quite a long way and I feel sorry for these guys, I really do. They work so hard for not a lot of money. And uh, as per usual, it's Filipino time and I'm stressing a bit because we're cutting it fine to get there for the Jeepney because it leaves at nine o'clock and it's getting on for quarter to nine now and we've got another 10 minutes to go, I think, before we get there. So I hope it doesn't leave early. Yeah. So we're at the jeepney station and on a jeepney, this is new, it's like a bus. Normally that's the long bench seats. And um, I looked in my pocket and I don't think I brought enough money so it's a good job Mel's brought some money. So I don't know if we're going to have to pay for the kids or not. No, Kelly, yeah. Not that too much. What, Kelly has to pay adult? Why? She's only seven. How old do you have to be before you pay? I don't know. As long as... Well, she's only seven, isn't she? You're only seven, aren't you? Not that seven, it's ten. Hey? Ten. No, she's seven. <laughs> okay, she's seven. Alright guys, we're finally in Tianan back. We're not even halfway to Saruma. And when we left Naga, this particular jeepney was it seemed like it was stopping every few hundred yards and picking materials up to take to Saruma. And if I remember right, there's fishing boats down at the end. There's loads of shops right to the end of this road. And we forgot to bring an umbrella. So really, I should buy another umbrella. It's raining now. Look. How much are they? 140. So I bought myself an umbrella. Because otherwise, my camera's gonna get wet. That's better. So, even though it's raining in Saruma with the beach and the pool and nobody seems to be bothered about the weather, it's really still gorgeous. The, the scenery and um, just, it, it's, I've said it before, it's just like being a millionaire and having your own island because it's like you've bought it for a day hello or two or three or what, whatever it is and the people in the Philippines are so welcoming oh wow see what did I tell you when it starts raining the wind picks up as well and this new umbrella is probably going to go inside out. So. Oh 
I'll switch the camera off here. Yeah, here we go, look. I love this place. It's brilliant, right next to the sea. Now some subscribers have messaged us while we're on the uh, jeepney and uh, said they want to come and see us in Saruma but Mel's load went before we could tell them we're only here today, we're coming back tomorrow and the only reason we're going to Saruma is the, the people who own Angelica Resort wants to, wants to see us and the kids. We should we should have gone yesterday but it was a dad's birthday because they were doing blessings at the church that's just been built I think I've mentioned it earlier on and it's a real shame we couldn't get yesterday but there you are guys this is Tianan back I love it I would have loved to have come like maybe in the 60s seeing how this was I think the, the fishing would have been more intense than probably what it is now. Let's just have a look down here. Now this is what happens in the Philippines guys. One minute it's pouring it down with rain, next minute it's sunny. And then one minute it's sunny and next minute it's pouring it down with rain. <laughs> and this is a brand new LCC that wasn't here last time I come. There's stuff going up all over the Philippines. There must be loads of money piling into the Philippines with all this building work that's going on. Another 15 years, the interest infrastructure will be the same as what it is in Thailand and places like that. I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard that they're going to phase the jeepneys out. I hope not. Well, that's what I've heard. Right, guys, we're just getting hit by a massive wave that absolutely covered us all in water, plus my camera. And because I've got an external mic on my camera, I've got I've took the waterproof doors off, and there was water all got in. So. If you're hearing this now, I might have been lucky and it hasn't damaged my camera. Um, obviously, if you're not hearing it, it won't be posted anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we've got here and absolutely pouring it down with rain, but now the rain's gone again. It's brightening up again. And there's been lots of changes. They've, they've put water in for when you're on the beach to clean your feet off and have a shower and stuff. Uh, there's a new building over here. I'm going to have a look a bit later on and see what that building is. It looks like it's a, a bungalow to rent out. And they've finished the church, obviously, which is over there. So we'll go and have a look at the church later. But we've got to get back and uh, see the owners. Right guys, look at this. Look how beautiful it is. I was gonna say I'd forgot how beautiful it is, but I didn't really, because it it never leaves your head once you've been here. How beautiful it is. Now, apparently, the jeepney doesn't go into the village anymore. The jeepney actually goes over there and it's actually quicker to get to there and then get the boat over here. We've come out, in fact, I've probably edited it out. The jeepney took us over here. See the trees in the distance. And we've never been took over there before, so I was a bit put out by it. And then the jeepney costs you 150 pesos to get from Naga to here. And then depending on how many there is, it's 500 pesos to get from right over there to here. And they drop you off on the beach and they carry your bags and what have you. All the road is all brand new now. There's no mud, there's no nothing. It's straight here and it's, it's pretty quick. I didn't have my watch on, 
as per usual but it didn't seem long to get here at all it's been raining a little bit but it, the weather's picked up now the waves aren't so bad when we were coming over in the boat the waves were quite bad now the sea's quite flat look just have a look at this and there's the new church they've just built how good's that and apparently her mum Stella's mum has uh, built a little bungalow for herself as well incredible so they did a blessing the church officially opened yesterday they did a blessing there and they're gonna build another swimming pool over there and a couple of little chalet things and they're gonna do a zip line guys they've, they've not got a timetable for doing it but they're actually gonna do a zip line down here to the beach I mean how brilliant's that but I want you to I want you to see the room because now bear in mind before I show you the room it's done out better and prettier with the nice bedding and stuff but because we were last minute the bedding's not been put on but it smells gorgeous in here absolutely gorgeous and of course you've got your air con what have you and that's the bathroom look bathroom's beautifully clean it's gorgeous it's absolutely brilliant so <coughs> if you want to book mention a Brit in the Philippines and we'll give you a discount I'll just remind <coughs> Stella and her mum about that because sadly Dr. Tom died a few months ago so the arrangements I made with Dr. Tom obviously I have to talk to uh, his wife now but she's as kind as her husband so is a daughter, they're, they're such a lovely family, really lovely, they've been so kind to us. Um, but I'm not, you know, promoting Angelica because of that, I'm promoting it because I know if you come here, you'll have a great time, you'll really enjoy it. And they are getting very busy, I think June, July is the busiest for them now, where you'll probably not get a room on them months. Wow, so beautiful. I miss this place. Yeah. But I wouldn't want to come here when it's really busy, would you? Yes. Still. All right, shut up. <laughs> Why? Well, Does it matter? It's busy. No, I just, I just want to be selfish and have it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Very nice. Yeah, it's lovely. It's really nice. What? Okay, okay, okay. No, don't do that. Looks up behind. <laughs> yeah. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds chirping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a strong